all the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. This might start to sound like a broken record, but it will never be said enough until it is actually implemented. Women's boxing should be fighting three minute rounds, period. At the very least, it should be the case for every championship fight. More time equals more everything. More knockouts, more money, more recognition, and more interest. This should have been decided a while ago, but if there was any year to do it, it's this year. You needed them to become more popular. They did that. You wanted them to have better fights. They did that. You wanted them to fight the best. They are doing that. There is no logical reason for them to be treated like they aren't equal. And they are. The argument for them having less minutes and rounds is based on people thinking they are more susceptible to injuries. Um, hello? It's boxing. It's a combat sport. It is more dangerous for anyone to fight longer periods of time. It's a sport that's built on beating each other up. Of course it's more dangerous the longer it goes. That's why the sport has decreased the number of rounds on multiple occasions. But even if the women's fights were three minute rounds, the championship fights are still only 10 round fights, while the men are 12. No one complains about the men being too long, even though it is more dangerous because of the extra 16 minutes they spend beating each other up. Keep the 10 round limits, that's fine, but increase the time for each round and reap the benefits of entertainment. The alternative is losing the biggest stars in the sport to MMA because of the wages and the rules. Boxing fanatics like to strut around talking about their fighters making more money than MMA fighters, but on the female side, that's the furthest thing from the truth. MMA women fight by the same rules and in turn, make the same amount of money and are treated equally. Having the biggest females in boxing, like Clarissa Shields and Amanda Serrano test the waters there because of inequality is about as illogical as it comes. The best way to keep the sport growing is to keep it stars. To do that means treating them as such. In a year that might get Katie Taylor versus Serrano, Shields versus Savannah Marshall, Michaela Mayer versus Alicia Baumgartner and Jessica McCaskill versus the winner of Taylor Serrano. There is no one on this planet that shouldn't want an extra 10 minutes of every one of those fights. These are the biggest fights in female boxing history and arguably the best fights in boxing this year. How many times do they have to prove that if they can entertain in two minutes, imagine what they would do in three. Mayer versus Mava Hamadouche is the best example. It is blasphemy that the world couldn't see that with three minute rounds. That had a case for winning fight of the year and people were preaching for it to have three minute rounds like the great Bob Arum who tweeted about it before the fight. And it goes without saying, the fighters also won it. And I know that Bob Arum in the last press conference mentioned that women still aren't going um, three minute rounds. And I said, well, if that's what you believe, let's go. I didn't know that you even wanted that for us. And you said, it's not up to me. The commissions aren't allowing it. Not to mention, they have something the men don't. Three undisputed champions. Shields has done it in two divisions. McCaskill beat one of the longest reigning champions twice, and Taylor has won her four straps, went up to capture two division status, and jumped back down to defend her belt time and time again. And they should add at least two more this year with Franchon Cruz de Zern and Elan Sideros attempting to unify at super middleweight, and Callie Reese and Chantel Cameron doing the same at super lightweight. That is boxing's ultimate goal. To get the respect it deserves, it needs to be treated like it's equal. Once that becomes the case, it will provide the entertainment and gain the popularity boxing promoters, television networks, and streaming platforms are looking for, only enhancing the sport to new heights.